Hello ITPC, Parsimonious Piper here. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. So today I wanted to share what I think of as a unicorn pipe instead of a unicorn blend, as well as a few shout outs. But first, a very non-unicorn pipe. My trusty Missouri Meerschaum Country Gent. And in it, I have got some Cornell and Deal Winter Wintertime Reserve Sugar Plum. This is a plug that I bought last year. Uh, comes as a crumble cake, I should say, not really a plug. Comes as a pretty nice crumble cake, not too moist. Uh, I just crumble it right up and smoke away. It has a nice light sweetness, uh, not sugary, a little bit of a fruity, um, well, as the name a sugar plum, it would indicate a nice light sweet fruitiness to it. It's a nice aromatic blend for the Christmas season. So, we talk about unicorn blends as being things that are either impossible to get, uh, discontinued and you, know, you have to hunt for them, that sort of thing. Well, if you've watched my channel, you know that I'm a collector of Pipe by Lee, an American pipe factory brand that was made from the, the mid-40s to around 1970. Now, they graded their pipes one to five stars based on the quality of the grain. I'll show my collection at some point, but I've got a single one, five star that it's the only one I've ever seen and I, I managed to win that one. I've seen one four star, lost that auction. The bulk of my collection, 50 plus pipes at this point, is is three stars and a handful of two stars. So a, a lot of those survive. There, there are a ton of those out there uh, in the, the eBay and other estate market venues. But I'd never seen a one star. And in fact, I know a couple other Pipe by Lee collectors, and none of them, they've never seen a one star either. In fact, we we speculated that maybe, except for the first couple of years, they didn't even make them, um, that they were just a marketing gimmick, and that all of their all of the pipes they sold were two to five star, because we'd never seen a one. Until now. I managed to score a one star pipe. Now, this is a diamond shanked. See that shank? Oh, and I'll get some pictures, some before and after uh, cleanup pictures here. But this is a diamond shanked bent billiard. And uh, as I said, one star. It's carved doesn't have um, particularly pretty grain where the carving doesn't show. It's got some uh, pretty deep staining, uh, I'm guessing from hand oils, uh, or places where the briar simply absorbed more of the original factory stain. Um, cleaned up pretty well, but and, and it smokes fantastic, just like the higher grade uh, Pipe by Lee's that I have. It, it's a fantastically drilled uh, and engineered smoker. Uh, great little pipe and I managed to pick it up really cheap. <laughs> it, it's amazing uh, for, for a pipe that that is actually rare, um, but not of top quality. <laughs> it, nobody in the auction apparently knew what it was, or they've all already got all of the one-star pipes left in existence, and I'm the only bonehead that still thinks they're really rare. At any rate, that confirmed the existence of One Star Pipes, and it plugged a gap in my collection. So now I still have to find a Four Star Pipe and either win the auction or buy it outright, one of the two. Okay, shout outs. Let's, let me pull up my list. I'm gonna do five more shout outs today. A uh, couple of these guys are definitely still active 
in presenting videos in the YTPC. In fact, you'll probably recognize them. If you're subscribed to me, you're probably already subbed to them as well. A couple of these guys either uh, never made videos or they haven't in a while. Uh, maybe, maybe a bump in their sub count would encourage them to, to uh, get on this side of the camera. So first, Brandon the Paladuro Piper. Thanks for your sub. Marcus Matzik. Thank you for your sub. Dublin Pipe. Haven't seen you in a little while. I know you're out there. You posted just a couple of weeks ago. I'd like to see you some more. Thanks for your sub. Dan Lopez. Thank you for your sub. And finally for today, Mark at TPI, Tobacco Pipes International. Thank you for your sub. Thank you for your uh, your generosity and kindness throughout the YTPC. You are a greatly appreciated member of our community. I will post links to all five of those down below so you can check them out. Give them a sub if you haven't already. Some encouragement for a couple of the guys maybe to, uh, to jump back on uh, on this side of the camera or to get there. With that, I'm going to have to relight this again. Y'all enjoy your pipes. Enjoy your afternoon.